We are the competition team from Amateur UAVs and we're participating in this year's Hover Games Challenge. In this guide, we'll show you each part of the setup process. How to assemble the kit, flash the software onto the flight controller, and get the drone in the air. To build this drone, you will need the following components. One kit from NXP, which includes the frame, uh, electronics, and the uh, flight controller. And if you're participating in the Harbor Games Challenge, you will also need a companion computer and its related mounting and electrical stuff. In the kit is also a FS I6S transmitter. And uh, you will need to separately purchase a telemetry radio set and a battery. Check out the NXP Gitbook at nxp.gitbook.io forward slash hover games for in-depth assembly and preparation instructions. During assembly, make sure to read the guide thoroughly and in order. Now it's time to flash the bootloader onto our flight controller so we can install PX4. With your NXP kit, you should have received the following items. A USB 8 micro cable, a Seger J-Link EDU mini uh, debugger, a breakout board, a JST GH cable, and a 10-pin SWD cable. To connect this debugger to our flight controller, plug the 10-pin SWD cable into your J-Link debugger, and plug the other end into the breakout board. You can also use the USB to TTL cable provided. Plug this into the FTDI port on the breakout board, and this will allow you to access the system console on the FMU. This is not required right now, so we will skip it. Use the JST GH cable provided, plug it into the breakout board, and connect it to the debug port on the F FMU. You can plug the debugger into your computer. The FMU K66 flight controller does not come with a bootloader flashed, so the first step is to obtain a bootloader binary that can be flashed onto the board. You can download a pre-built binary from the NXP documentation website, or you can build it from source. Here I am launching an Ubuntu Docker container where I have previously built the FMU K66 target for the PX4 bootloader. You can clone the bootloader source from GitHub. Check the README and PX4 documentation for more information. Type JLink EXE to connect to the JLink mini programmer. If prompted, update the programmer's firmware. Then type connect into the prompt, followed by a question mark to select the target device. In the target device settings window, search for MK66 and select the MK66 FN2M0XXX18 with 2 megabyte flash option. Type S and enter to select the serial wire debug interface, and then hit enter again to accept the default interface speed. The programmer should now connect to the FMU. Now that the bootloader is programmed, we can install PX4 onto this board. Make sure that your debug cables are unconnected and the FMU is not powered. Next, open QGround control. Go to the firmware section. And now plug in your FMU. It should show up in QGround control. I have built the latest 1.11 firmware, but you can use the any release that you want. Firmware. Like so. For the airframe, go to the airframe tab and select the S500 generic airframe. 
It's a quad-coder X configuration, and the NXP drone uses an LJI X4 500 frame, which is very similar to the S500 frame, so we'll be using this airframe configuration. Apply and restart. Now we have installed PX4, and we can get on to calibration and configuration. When you've completed assembly of the drone, carefully power it up for the first time. If everything is working, open Q Ground Control and connect via telemetry radio. Under the Sensors tab, follow the steps to calibrate the compass, gyroscope, accelerometer, and level the horizon. Power on your RC radio and connect the receiver to your drone. In the System Settings under Output Mode, change the serial output from IBUS to SBUS. Go to the Radio tab, press the Calibrate button, and follow all the steps. You can map switches to output channels at this point as well. In the Flight Modes tab, map switches for changing flight modes, as well as arming the drone. Finally, go to the Power tab to adjust the cell count, as well as full and empty voltages per cell. You can test the motors for direction, and then install the propellers. And with that, you should be ready to fly. We hope this guide has been helpful. Once again, check out the NXP Gitbook for more information. Thanks to NXP and the PX4 community for making this video possible.